today we're going to look at angle measurements with the V9 height gauge. In order to do angle measurements, we're going to need a few things. First item is going to be a straight edge that we can put across the ground surfaces on the front face of the gauge. Additionally, we're going to need a gauge block of a particular size that is appropriate for the part that's, the, that's going to be measured. In this case, I'm using a one inch gauge block. We can then cycle to the second page of our menu and press the angle function. If we go to the graphical representation on the display by hitting the little probe icon, you'll see that it starts to show us the process as to how to measure an angle. So first, we take our straight edge and we butt it up against the ground surfaces of the gauge. Second, we take our gauge block and we put that up against our straight edge. Third, we will take our part and square it up against that gauge block. As you can see represented here on my display, the gray box being our straight edge, the red block being our gauge block, and the angled piece being whatever part it is that you are measuring. Now that I'm set in position as the gauge has told me, I will walk into the surface and take my first measurement, engaging the probe and releasing it. You'll now notice that the gauge block has been removed from the equation and now the part is up against the straight edge. So we'll do the same. Remove the gauge block and bring your part into position. Drive down and take a second measurement. Take your second measurement and release it. At this point, you'll see that now, that it is, now the gauge is asking us to touch your probe to your surface plate. So we'll remove our straight edge and we're going to drive our probe into the surface plate. And now the gauge is asking us to measure the gauge block. So we will take our gauge block and we will measure the distance that we traveled. At this point, the gauge is going to present us with the angle. What we've done is we've created a rise in the z-axis and a run by moving a known distance with the trigonometry the gauge has performed it has given us an angle.